One of our goals is to put Birmingham back to work. I'm working as a CNA right now. I'm looking to either grow up in that profession or branch out to something different. I've learned as a pastor, so many people are saved, so many people know Jesus, but just because you're saved and you go to heaven does not mean that you have a great quality of life on earth. So I don't just want people to go to heaven, I want people to get a job to be able to sustain themselves in a physical way. This is an opportunity for them to do that. A lot of information, various jobs, not just one field. They had medical, they had sales, they have banking. We met a lot of great people who uh, were qualified but had not had the opportunity. And once we talked with them, uh, questioned their background, they gave us some great information, we found out they had qualities in them that they didn't realize they had. And as a result, we can take that training and uh, put them with our company. It was awesome being here because I'm a part of the community. There were so many other vendors here, and because these other vendors were here, I had an opportunity to let them know about what Job Corps is, The Job Corps still exists. So it was awesome. As of right now, my situation, I just lost a job, and to be able to get right back into a job and be able to pay my tithes and be an asset in my community means a lot to me. And it's not intimidating. People communicate back with you and tell you what they need from you and you can tell them what you need from them and basically you can, you know, link in together. Our community is in zip code 35206. That's a community of high crime and high poverty. Whenever you see high crime, you also see high poverty. When people don't have what they need, they take it by any means necessary. And we don't just want to point out the problem, we really want to be a solution. And uh, we believe that getting people jobs is a way to do that. Sometimes, you know, things won't be as it appear, you know, when people come in and thinking that they're going to a table and get immediately hired. It won't be like that. But just go with the mindset that there is hope in finding employment. The bottom line is to find jobs, get them into careers so they can be happy financially. So for me to be here, they, they were unaware of the opportunities that were offered through Job Corps. But once I told them everything that they needed to know, they were hyped and ready to sign up today. One of the things that I want to make sure that we incorporate is to make sure that applicants know how to fill out an actual application, knowing what their resumes need to reflect, and make sure that their resumes are actually conducive to the actual job requirements. You have to have personal demeanor as far as your dress code, knowing what's appropriate, what's not appropriate, being able to hold yourself accountable for even actions outside of the workplace, knowing that employers look at social media sites to be able to determine an applicant as well. I actually have three interviews lined up. Yes, sir. I do have about three prospective interviews. If I had the option to do it again, I would, and I would probably bring, um, try to reach out to more people to inform them that, hey, this is what's going on, we need to do this, so we can get some jobs and everybody get to work and we can provide for our families.